This UNOSA video presents an overview of the research project, A Visual Analytics Approach to Understanding Poverty Assessment Through Disaster Impacts in Africa, that is supported by the Global Impact and Vulnerability Alert System, Rapid Impact and Vulnerability Analysis Fund. Many economists consider the global economic crisis to be the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression. It has contributed to substantial financial commitments incurred by governments, failures in key businesses, and a significant decline in world economic activity. The broad objectives of this research are to understand the particular effects that the global economic crisis has had on the well-known relationships between livelihood, poverty, and vulnerability to natural disasters, and to understand how the impacts of natural disasters are potential indicators of global economic crisis impacts on the poor and vulnerable. In particular, we seek answers to questions such as, how specifically have livelihoods been affected by the global economic crisis? For example, how have livelihoods been affected by global decreased prices for export crops such as cotton in Africa? How have impacts on livelihood exacerbated vulnerability to natural hazards? The well-known linkages between livelihood and vulnerability are complex. Displacement is one phenomenon that emerges from these linkages. According to the 2010 Consolidated Appeals Process Appeal for West Africa, the current global economic crisis has worsened the phenomenon of displacement in West Africa. How do impacts from natural disasters reveal vulnerabilities present before an event and forecast vulnerability after an event? It is a well-established fact that disasters reveal structural and institutional vulnerabilities, the depth and extent of which are not otherwise overtly apparent until the disaster occurs. For this question, we will investigate relationships between disaster impacts such as loss of agricultural lands, the effect of disaster impacts on livelihoods, and the subsequent effect of livelihood on poverty. The complex and abstract nature of the relationships between livelihood, poverty, and vulnerability to natural disasters requires discrete visual representations and computational processing that can support analytical reasoning and decision making to inform policy response, a scientific perspective known as visual analytics. Visual analytics is the science of analytical reasoning facilitated by interactive visual interfaces with a focus on assembling evidence generating inferences and explanations from evidence, and comparing and assessing those inferences and explanations, facilitated by interactive visual interfaces, computational methods, and knowledge construction, representation, and management strategies. The end goals of visual analytics investigations are the dissemination of results to decision makers and succinct communication of the interpretations made by an analyst or group of analysts. In the following section, we provide a walkthrough of the Visual Analytic Globe, a prototype visual analytic environment being developed to provide convincing analysis of the impacts of the global economic crisis on the poor and vulnerable through our research team's emphasis on developing visually oriented analytical products, a perspective that is theoretically motivated by calls within the United Nations community for the increased use of visualization for decision making. The Visual Analytic Globe currently supports queries to Google News and Google News Archives. Google News is used for obtaining current documents about a subject of interest. Google News Archives information is used for potentially understanding how a situation has evolved over time, like the global economic crisis. In this example, a user is querying Google News Archives to find stories related to food and migration in Burkina Faso between 2007 and 2008. Queries done to both Google News and Google News Archives are presented in the search results view seen here. The search result view provides quick overviews of documents foraged by web queries. Documents are ranked by their relevance to a given query. Users can obtain detail about any document by clicking on a document title and seeing the named entities that were identified in the raw text of the document. Named entities refers to people, places, and organizations found in the document. A color coding scheme is applied to support quick scans of the named entities. The color coding scheme used is as follows. People are highlighted in purple, organizations in orange, and places in green. As each document is processed by the Visual Analytic Globe, place names are extracted, geocoded, and mapped. 
The integrated map view enables users to explore the geographic information derived from each document on the map. The visual analytic globe uses ontologies to capture and incorporate knowledge of interest into the analysis. In particular, ontologies are used for query expansion. Query expansion is the notion of taking a base query string and reformulating or adding additional terms to the base query to increase retrieval performance. For example, a search using the term food could be expanded to include terms such as hunger, farming, or distribution. The ontology also incorporates knowledge of experts related to specific concepts for follow-up inquiries. The ontology also supports connections of concepts with temporal information and geographic information. In this example, the user has clicked on a concept and the timeline below has automatically moved to an event related to the concept and the map has moved to a location related to the concept, both of which are providing additional geospatial and temporal context to the analysis. Another goal of the Visual Analytic Globe is to provide the analyst with multiple views of the geography being investigated. These multiple views come in the form of linked geospatial and space-based technology representations. The Visual Analytic Globe accomplishes this goal by using a novel approach that links the virtual globe views of Google Earth with two-dimensional web maps contained within ESRI-based mapping software. Using this approach, the analyst can seamlessly use Google Earth for exploration with a standard two-dimensional cartographic display that may be better suited to their work, such as incorporating organizational map symbols, or other relevant styling. relevant styling. The Visual Analytic Globe also provides integrated quantitative data views. In this example, we see consolidated appeals process data being reviewed, and recently released World Bank data. In this example, the user has selected the World Bank Burkina Faso dataset and is examining different variables of interest. Understanding the effects of the global economic crisis on the poor and vulnerable is by no means a solitary process to be undertaken by one UN agency. To foster geocollaboration and social networking, the Visual Analytic Globe uses the idea of a geomessage. seen here, a user Brian is sending a geo message to all of his Revef collaborators. He types in a subject and a text note for his message about a meeting. He has highlighted the area in question using the map annotation tool. Brian adds the map annotation as an attachment to his geo message. When his collaborators open his geo message, their maps will zoom to the extent that Brian set his map to for the message and will draw the map annotation Brian created. The Visual Analytic Globe provides a workspace for tracking hypotheses in the analysis and evidence to support or refute a given hypothesis in order to support evidence-based decision-making. 
the workspace helps to organize fragments of evidence pulled out from the visual analytic globe as deemed relevant. For more information about this project, contact the following individuals or visit the following website.